जी हाँ I think I'm at a phase where last year was an experimental year for me. Last year, you know, I had just come in and I wanted to try. I had the opportunity to to try all different kinds of cinema. I got the opportunity to try comedy, to try action, to try thriller, to try you know, film like Mumbai se hai mera dost. And I wanted to use that opportunity to see what I was good at, you know, to see what suits me, what what do I perform best in. And I think today I'm at a stage where I know exactly, you know, what I would want to do, what I look for in a script. And, uh, you know, people say that, oh, but don't you think that in experimenting you wasted a year where if you had picked the right films or, you know, you had been more careful that you would be in a better position. I think every film that I've done till date, uh, you know, has added to the actress that I am today, has taught me something that's invaluable. So, um, I think today I'm in a much more, as a mental frame of mind, I think I'm much more sort of focused and relaxed and confident about what I have to offer and a little more cautious because I don't want to sign on as many films as I did previously. You know, I know what I want to do, so I'm very, very clear about that. Like you said, the people do tell you that you're not uh, at a position where you could have been right yeah. now. Totally. Yeah. It's a uh, you know I think that every every individual every actor has their own game plan. Everybody has their own priorities. Uh, for me, a priority was never. Oh my God! In one year's time, I want to make the number one slot, make or break. You know. Oh, it was never that uh, I only want to work with Yash Chopra and I only want to work with uh, you know Karan Johar. Um, today, I think I need to be able to prove myself as an actress. I need to be able to give them if they're going to cast me in their film. I want to give them something exceptional. I want to give them something that no one has given them before, that Kajol hasn't given them before, that Sri Devi hasn't given them before. I want them to take me and say we want Lara in this film because of what Lara has to offer. And uh, you know, I think I'm only. Two years old in the industry, so I think I have a long way to go before I feel confident and satisfied about myself as an actress and say, "Okay, this is it. Here I come, guns ablaze." And today, I think that I am on that track. I think I've, you know, gotten there where I know the kind of uh, acting that I want to present on screen. And um, everybody wants, you know, a hit at the box office, and you make your choices with films. Like I said, there are films that didn't do well last year. That you know, uh, Elan didn't do well, Bardash didn't do well. Uh, but there are films that sort of teach you something. They give you lessons that are, you know, that sometimes you need a knock and you learn the lesson better than you do when, you know, when you get it very easily. And um, so I value everything that I've done. And like I said, I'm in no hurry. And I would much rather be, you know, yes, I would love to be a big star, but I would also want to have the respect of being a great actress that goes along with it. And, um, you know, that's what I want to work on. Um, well, there's, there's no entry that's a, a laugh riot. It's a family comedy. It's, um, it is quite funny. <laughs> and um, there's Carl that's coming out, which is also a thriller that's being directed by Soham Shah and um, Karan and Shahrukh are producing it. So it, that's, um, again, that's a film that it's two hours long. It has no songs. It, it was great fun to shoot in, um, you know, shoot with. And um, it's the first film that shot start to finish in Corbett National Park. So it's definitely something to look forward to. Yeah. Right. Sure. So, does it make any difference when you're working with Vikram but in another film, Jordan and when his girlfriend is making a you know, honestly, well, I think, honestly speaking, like I said, you know, working with, uh, firstly working with Vikram on Elan and working on Jurm was, it was a totally different experience. I mean, Elan, there was more concentration on action, you know, on, because it was an action film. It was a stylized sort of short film. So there was more emphasis on action and things like that. And then Jurm is, is much more performance oriented. I mean, the suspense comes from the performance. So to get that whole graph between the characters going was much more difficult. Um, so with his his concentration always the intensity you know put into Jurm. I think Jurm has much better performances, or at least for me personally, than than Elan had. And uh, so it, there's never been a problem working with Vikram, and he's very very clear about the way that he approaches something. So I never felt that you know insecure that oh my God, Amisha is his girlfriend and she's also in Elan, and therefore you know I'm going to be sidestepped in the films or something like that. I think he's very clear with you know how he deals with things. Um, where other actresses are concerned, whether it's Amisha or anybody else, um, honestly speaking, I don't think any of us have the time in our lives to really concentrate or look into or worry about or 
you know, deal with statements like this. Uh, I think everybody is human. Everybody goes through, you know, moments of insecurity in their lives. Uh, everybody goes through good phases and bad phases. You know, I mean, everybody wants box office success at the industry, and unfortunately, you know, the only thing that counts today in the Hindi film industry is box office success. And when you don't get that, people react to it, in, you know, in in different ways. So I really, I don't really give that much thought, or you know, lose much sleep over the fact that, oh, why did she say this? Why did she say that? Um, there's a bigger picture. There's a, you know, it's it's a everything has a larger picture and today my focus and my priorities are very very different where I'm not going to get sidetracked you know by things like this it's just it's not worth thinking about <laughs> thank you so much